Leaders of Makoko, a fishing community in Lagos State, have raised the alarm that the state government's dredging of the Atlantic and aggressive sand feeling of water bodies is exposing them to risk of flooding. Esther Omokmariola has details. Makoko community in the Yaba area of Lagos is a fishing village where the people make their livelihood from the natural environment. However, the alleged ongoing dredging and sand filling works by the state government is putting their way of life in jeopardy. Okay, thank you very much. Um... At a forum organized by the Health of Mother Earth Foundation for community leaders, civil society organizations, they lamented the hardship caused by the sand filling and dredging works ongoing on the water bodies and shorelines of Makoko. Some of the leaders of the community appeal to the government to consider the fact that they are fishermen who make a living from the natural environment. Our main purpose of coming here is that Makoko dredging something. We don't want it. We don't want it. If they dredge that place, feed that place, people at the extreme end up, they are in trouble during the time of rainy season. Where there are some few now, is there I'm getting, I'm getting my daily bread before. I'm fishing there, but now, no fish in that area. Environmentalists Dr. Nemo Bassi and other activists warned of the danger of exposing the community to flooding by sand filling wetlands and also accused the government of using the Ministry of Waterfront to grab land and over commercialize the state. You hear about land reclamation. What it just means that we are shutting down, we are filling up the wetlands. And a place like Lagos, once you claim you, you cover up the wetland, we are exposing the city to more problems of flooding. But a place like Makoko is an example of how to build a resilient community. When the Lagos state government created the Ministry of Waterfront, we thought it was a ministry that would look at the um, development of communities and people around the waterfront in Lagos. But gradually, what we have observed is that that ministry has now become the Ministry of uh, Land, for, Forceful Land Acquisition. In the meantime, the community leaders are calling on the state government to stop the dredging and sand feeling and instead provide them with basic social amenities that will make their lives better. Esther TVC News, Lagos.